this is our reality. You know, this is our whole entire lived experience growing up, you know, always had to make sure that I was with somebody so I wouldn't get stolen or I wouldn't disappear or I wouldn't get taken. We're here in the Vulture Spot and we are with the directors and contributors of Murder in Bighorn. Can you explain to the Vulture readers uh, about this series? Murder in Bighorn uh, investigates the disappearances and potential murders of a handful of Native American women um, within rural Montana. The social issues and the, the federal and state policies regarding Native Americans have created a perfect storm for cases like this to happen. And um, what we're exploring in this docuseries and the colonial system that has been brought in you know, from the beginning of colonization is still affecting our communities. Was there a moment um, when you felt like this was a cause that you were, were gonna uh, take up? I knew nothing about this issue. Um, and it, the, within five minutes of sitting down with the first family that we ever talked to, it, became, it, be, it becomes a, you know, a very emotional experience. I think a lot of non-Native people don't, um, aren't invested in these issues because of the ongoing invisibility of Native people within the United States. There's this idea that Native American tribes are part of our history. When we're in existence, we, we're surviving. We have over 560 federally recognized tribes in the United States that have cultures and languages and ceremonies. Um, but outside of those tribal communities, people don't know that we still exist. This has been happening since first contact with European settlers, they wanted the land. And so you go after and you target the women because we're the backbones of our societies. We're the keepers of our home and we're life givers, exactly. Well, thank you so much for being here and for sharing your story. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, thanks for being here.